new at 10, making history and inspiring others along the way. A Valley native becoming the first female commander of a specific group in the Navy. And tonight, she's back home for Navy Week, sharing her message. Here's ABC 15's Josh Cristianto. The trailblazer and the dreamer. A Girl Scout and an admiral who used to be one too. Mrs. Lawrence was my Girl Scout troop leader. She was incredible. When she was just five years old, the now Rear Admiral Maria Aguayo moved to Tempe from Mexico. Her dad was an engineer, but she liked math on her own. She also loved the wide open seas. I was looking for a way to combine my love of the ocean with also my interest in math and STEM. The Navy was a pathway Aguayo couldn't pass up. Even after she graduated with an industrial engineering degree from Stanford, she quickly rose up the ranks, taking on every challenge she could. But in 1993, she still faced barriers. As a woman, I was not uh, authorized to serve in a CB battalion, uh, while all my male counterparts, civil engineer corps officers, were. That didn't stop Aguayo from pushing hard. And when the laws changed, she went on to command a CB battalion in Afghanistan herself. You can truly do anything you set your mind to. Aguayo is now the first female commander of Naval Facilities Engineering Systems Command Atlantic. Her story inspiring Girl Scouts like Savannah Guzman, who wants to be a journalist. It makes me feel uh, very happy that someone of our, my culture was able to achieve such high ranks. Um, unlike some people have said before. A tale of giving back to the community that gave an admiral her sea legs. Josh Cristianto, ABC 15, Arizona. Josh